Serge Chapeau and Terry Moshner, political cartoonists and true Montreal prisoners. Chaque jour depuis de Sénéry, ces artistes et commentateurs au résumé vulgairement situation complexe. They possess that rare capacity so admired by any educator to entertain while they inform. Their work is so popular, Montreal's McCord Museum had to extend its 1997 exhibition of their work by a year. The long-term friends were the subject of the 2003 documentary, Nothing Sacred, and in 2015, they received, together, the Hyman Salman Award for Excellence in Public Policy Journalism. Mr. Chancellor, I am delighted to present Serge Chaplot. Living as a self-proclaimed hippie in the 70s, he began working as a professional cartoonist for Perspectives magazine and contributed to many other Quebec population, uh, publications. After a five-year stint at Le Devoir, he moved on to La Presse in 1996, where he continues to produce his daily uh, drawings. For his irreverent portrayal of everyone from Jean Drapeau to Donald Trump, he received 14 National Newspaper Award nominations, won seven times, and has been a consistent finalist since 1995. He has also brought his nude reader character, Gerard de la Flac, to his life as a puppet and now a CGI figure on TV. The show, Ici Le Flac, has run for 14 seasons on Radio, Quebec, Radio Canada, skewering more than 100 politicians, culture, and sports figures, with many more to come. Mr. Chancellor, on behalf of Senate and the Board of Governors, it is my privilege and honor to present you Sir Chaplot so that you may conf confer upon him the degree Doctor of Laws, Honoris Cusa. I would like to ask Dr. Serge Chaplot to address the convocation. I like the word doctor. <laughs> well, Monsieur le Chancelier, Monsieur le Président du Conseil d'administration, Monsieur le Recteur, invité d'honneur, chers diplômés, parents et amis, d'être ici cet après-midi. C'est pour moi un privilège. It's a privilege. C'est un honneur. It's an honor. C'est merveilleux. It's marvelous. C'est fantastique. It's fantastic. <laughs> This was the bilingual part. Of me. <laughs> On pense souvent que le métier de caricaturiste est un métier solitaire. Je pense à mon ami Terry, assis seul à la table à dessin, en train de chercher des idées, en train de faire des petits bonhommes. Eh bien, aujourd'hui, j'en ai parlé, I talk to Terry, and la vérité doit sortir, the truth will come out. On utilise des scripteurs spécialisés en humour. Moi, je sais, c'est un peu décevant, là. Trouver des idées à chaque jour, c'est dur. Alors, je voudrais remercier tous ces grands humoristes qui nous appuient quotidiennement, c'est-à-dire les politiciens, là. <rires> Quel matériel incroyable! À chaque jour, on nous fournit ce matériel. Il y en a même comme un dénommé Donald qui en met trop. Non, c est, c est... Il nous dépasse un peu. Alors, je vais terminer vraiment en prenant quelques secondes pour bien profiter to enjoy this moment. <coughs> wow! Merci. Thank you. Thank you. Dr. Chaplot, you are a man of few words, but great humor, and we appreciate it. Keep it up. Mm. 
Mr. Chancellor, I'm delighted to present Terry Moshner, better known by his nom de plume, Aislin. Drawing for daily papers since 1967, Mr. Moshner has penned more than 13,000 cartoons. His work has appeared in Atlantic Monthly, Harper's, Time Magazine, and the New York Times, and it's 49 books, his most recent being from Trudeau to tr tr Trudeau, hard to say, 50 years of Aislinn cartoons. His trenchant political satire has won him two national newspaper awards, a gold national magazine award. In 1985, he became the youngest ever inductee into the Canadian News Hall of Fame. Mr. Moshner speaks often on cartooning's value as a communications tool and judges competitions worldwide. For his cultural uh, contributions and charitable work, he was named an Officer of the Order of Canada in 2003. Mr. Chancellor, on behalf of Senate and the Board of Governors, it is my privilege and honour to present to you Mr. Terry Moshner, so that you may confer upon him the honour and degree of the Doctor of Laws, Honoraris Causa. I'd like to ask Dr. Mosher to please address the convocation. Bonjour, hi. Mr. Chancellor, Mr. Chairman of the Board of Governors, Mr. President and Vice Chancellor, uh, honored platform guests, graduating class, family and friends, and I never ever thought I'd ever get to say this, Dr. Serge Chaplou. <laughs> C'est un plaisir d'être honoré avec mon collègue et uh, chum Serge Chaplou. En même temps, félicitations à tous les gens qui ont reçu ces doctorats honorifiques de Concordia. The last time I was on this stage was in 2002, and uh, it was quite an event. Bill Clinton had come to town to give a speech. And the, the organizers got in touch with me and they said, Terry, would you do a caricature of Bill Clinton uh, to be presented to him as a thank you gift? And do you think you could be nice for a change? <laughs> well, I did that and I did a nice caricature. He loved it. We presented it to him on the stage here of him on a jazz festival poster because many of you will remember he, that he loved to play the saxophone. He loved it, the Gazette loved it, they put it on the front page, the organizers ran off copies and had Bill Clinton sign them. But then backstage I showed the cartoon I really wanted to give to him. <laughs> and it was something with a saxophone coming out of his pants. <laughs> he liked that one too, so. <laughs> Serge and I are particularly pleased to receive this honor in tandem, and given the fact that not, not much was really expected of either of us uh, by anyone when we were growing up. Uh, we were a puzzle to our parents, uh, never mind our teachers. Nevertheless, before we even knew each other, and, and we've known each other for over 40 years now, Chaplow and I shared two interests. We both loved to draw, and we were both the class clowns uh, wherever we found ourselves. Who knew then, that uh, miracle of miracles really, we would end up making a living, a very good living actually, by combining those two simple elements, by becoming cartoonist. And now, no matter how much we try to poke fun at the system, we're always being honored for it. Now, some great philosopher once said, to be boring, leave nothing out. Uh, therefore, I promise that these remarks will be brief in order that we get on with the actual ceremony and the recognition of the hard work 
uh, that all the graduating students have done over the last however many years. It's your day, okay? So what can a high school dropout like myself possibly have to say to so many bright, engaged students on their graduation day? Well, there is this, uh, and much of it is, uh, is parroting what uh, Jonathan Weiner had to say. We don't know one millionth of one percent about anything. Uh, that according to one of the world's great inventors, Thomas, Thomas Edison. Now, that may not be exactly true in this day and age of Google, but it's probably close enough. At the same time, Edison maintained that the chief function of the body is to carry the brain around. It's the most important function. But what is the brain supposed to carry around? That becomes a key question. Anthony Bourdain, may he rest in peace, a public figure that so many of us came to admire, claimed that curiosity was his only virtue. So the, the only genuine advice that I can give you collectively, collectively is this, follow your nose. Find something that interests you and then find out everything you can about it. Become passionate about the subject, as Jonathan said. When I became a cartoonist, I couldn't find any information about the craft. So eventually I ended up writing a history of Canadian political cartooning that is still the main reference volume today on the subject. Take that, all my fine former high school teachers. <laughs> and if you, can't immediately, if you can't immediately do that, do what you have to do so you can do what it is you want to do. That's the key thing I have to tell you today. Uh, the cure for boredom is curiosity. There's no cure for curiosity. That from Dorothy Parker, God bless her. Uh, and there's one other guy I'd love to quote, but my wife said, please be polite. So, just let me close by saying, God bless Robert De Niro. Dr. Mosher, thank you so much for your humor, for your artwork, your caricatures, your political satire, and just being you. <laughs>